coming back to the Valley was special because we had always had a sense and a pride of the community that is here from everything from the education which our kids are going through right now in a school district in the area to our association with the, with the arts, being able to expose our kids to a quality of life um, based on the places we had been. Once we came back to the Valley, uh, we decided that this was going to be home and uh, 18 years later uh, we're still here and, and we're still enjoying every part of it. I'm from this area. I lived in the city, um, went to college in the city, uh, stayed there, like I said, and taught for five years in the city, was an administrator one year, and my family's all from this area, so I wanted to move back and have the opportunity to um, be in education back in this area. I choose to work in the Susquehanna Valley uh, for a number of reasons, including the people, wonderful people here, um, tremendous quality of life, uh, the beauty of the region, uh, very strong work ethic and uh, for those reasons continued to work here uh, based on uh, having the ability to to work with the community and uh, provide educational opportunities for citizens um, through a wonderful institution that I, that I represent, Bloomsburg University. I've lived here my whole life and I really feel I've chosen to stay here. It's a choice I've made, like most other people who are raised in any uh, location, you can certainly make that decision to leave. But I think it's picturesque. I think we have the benefits of country living as well as all the amenities of a more metropolitan area with great schools and a lot of uh, great colleges and stores and great restaurants. And we don't have the traffic problems that a lot of other places have. So for me, uh, those are all pluses. I stayed here because I originally knew it was going to be a good position, a, school, a great school district, a good area. And the more I'm here, the more families I meet, the more I feel like I'm a part of the community. And it's, it would be very hard to leave. I was born and raised here, loved growing up here, but did decide to take employment opportunities outside of the area in D.C. and Savannah, Georgia, but came back both times. I feel we have so many opportunities here in the Valley. We, proximity for one, being in central Pennsylvania, we're so close to big cities, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, New York City, yet we're in a small town. We have the small town feel here. We have plenty to do, whether it's indoors or outdoors with the YMCAs. We have a lot of recreational opportunities inside, but also with the river. You can do many outdoor activities as well. My name is Judy Charles. I'm the owner of Isle of Q River Guides, which is a kayak rental on the Isle of Q in Seals Grove, Pennsylvania. And I'm Jim Charles. I'm the river guide for Isle of Q River Guides, also on the Isle of Q at Seals Grove. And we offer kayak rental and also fishing guiding and boating tours. We make ourselves and our boats available for school projects, scouting, church events. We make uh, macro invertebrate studies, gold panning. Some of the children have never been in a boat. They have never actually been in the water. So we make ourselves and our boats available uh, to educate, take them out, and we prefer to put the students in the environment of education rather than being in a classroom. We actually take students to the history, to where it happened, as opposed to taking the history to the classroom. The education that we offer uh, to our clients is, is not bound by age. Many cases it is young people and whenever I'm talking to young people I love to convey to them the history uh, which is a big part of our tours that history isn't something that always happens someplace else. We have this this rich treasure in our own backyards Currently, right now, I'm involved in Susquehanna Kids College, which is a week program. And I'm this summer, I will be doing nature art. Last summer, I did junkyard art. It's a good way to save budget by finding out like nature and junk is very cheap compared to trying to use all the other resources I have at school. I'm also getting involved with the Middle Creek Area Community Center, having a week-long art camp there and that was just word of mouth someone suggested me and that's how it worked with Susquehanna Kids College and it's things I didn't I would have never known about unless somebody 
some person would have suggested it because I wouldn't have found it on the, online and I probably wouldn't have seen it in the paper unless I was looking for it. The YMCA offers programs that promote healthy spirit, mind, and body for all. So programs at the YMCA encompass all those things. You may think of the YMCA as just physical opportunities, physical programs and opportunities for families, youth, swimming, gymnastics, basketball, the typical things that you think about at the YMCA, but we're so much more than that. We are the leading child care provider, so both YMCAs and Sunbury and Milton provide child care for working parents, so it's a help for families in our community. Our art center offers so many programs and classes that help enrich the lives of, of people. Uh, they may learn a new skill, whether it's playing an instrument or painting or drawing or taking a pottery class. There's many opportunities for people in the YMCA and no one's turned away. The YMCA is open for everyone. At Bloomsburg University, we offer a wide uh, array of courses, continuing education opportunities for the general public. Uh, these consist of very uh, basic short-term courses for all ages, um, starting with, with courses that we provide for youth, uh, all the way up to programs for adults, uh, seniors, uh, computer classes for the terrified for senior citizens. So we really offer the full gamut. Um, we're very responsive to the needs of the community, so as we identify courses or interests that the community desires to receive, we uh, attend to identify ways to create, develop those courses and deliver. So much of what we do is non-credit in nature. There are also some academic courses for credit that we provide for non-traditional students at community locations through the university as well. I work with students with all sorts of disabilities ranging from mental retardation to autism, um, specific learning disabilities. And our goal at Danville is to include all children into the regular education curriculum. We were able to do that this year. And we continue to strive each and every day to make sure students that have disabilities are included with their peers. And it has been working really well. Yes, we have our struggles, but um, the teachers are really the ones that take the lead and make sure that families and the students feel comfortable being included with their peers. And we continue each and every day to strive to make that happen. Bucknell University is a, is a place that um, I think is very special to, to our community in, in a number of ways. The, the idea that it sits uh, in our county seat and, and in the middle of, of, uh, of Union County um, and then take Susquehanna Valley um, and look at the, the number of uh, people that come through there. Now, think about that and then think about 3,200 kids and we're talking about Bucknell, not, not Susquehanna, and we could go on and, and speak about other schools, but about Bucknell, um, a place that uh, exposes everybody in the community, whether it's 4,000 pe people at a, at a basketball game, or whether it's 4,000 people at the Weiss Center that can come from all over our community, come in and see some of the best uh, German dancers, or a choir, or a one-act play. Um, I think it's a, it, it, again, what makes the whole, the whole area is exactly what Bucknell does. It gives to the community, but then the commu community gives back too by attending and going to events. We have dental assisting, advertising art and design, drafting, uh, we have electronics and um, what we now call IT, information technology, obviously computer driven and uh, we call those our clean hall, that's our front hall. Our back hall would be more of our trade and industrial type um, shops such as carpentry and masonry, uh, cabinet wood technology, we have welding. We also have uh, plumbing, HVAC, which is obviously a combination together, electrical and precision machining. We have the food service program as well as then the auto auto technology. So we really have a, a wide variety of career choices that students can pursue at SunTech and either combine even some of them. Uh, for example, someone in HVAC may do a little bit of the carpentry part or the masonry part. So there are uh, trade areas where there's some overlapping where teachers sometimes team teach or their students trade off and on um, depending on 
maybe the year of the student's interest and also, you know, if they're heading to college or if they're going out to the workforce. You have an opportunity for your kids to be exposed to all kinds of, of wonderful events and wonderful opportunities to learn. It's a kind of community that whether it's the high school, the colleges, or your community folks, and with the wonderful hospitals and the things that are, are central to this area, there's always education going on. There's always a, a, a place that you can go, you can pick up a paper any day and be able to take your kids somewhere where they're gonna become better readers, or they're gonna be exposed to something that, that is gonna come up in their lives later on. For you as an adult, again, whether it's going to the Weiss Center for theater or going to the campus theater or traveling to another town outside of Lewisburg, there's always arts, uh, there's always events, there's always people looking to take you into their communities. And uh, that's something that you really, from the places that we've lived and we've traveled all over the world, um, it's a really special place that way because there's so much going on.